Hey guys, what is up? Peak Food Dog here, and today I'm going to be doing an in depth review of Swiss Grading Services. Uh, this is a new company that just started grading cards in Switzerland. Um, it is nice to have a local service that does grading. Um, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on this service. I just sent my first submission and I thought I'd do a quick video of how I got to the submission and what you can expect from Swiss Grading Services from a standpoint of starting out with them. Um, first off, I want to say they're, they're very nice people. Uh, Instagram, they're very helpful. They get back to you quite fast. Their customer service is top notch. Um, if you have any questions, definitely follow them on Instagram. I will leave a link in the description. Um, that would be the first way to get in contact with SGS. Um, their website is a little complicated. It is s-g-s.ch. Um, problem is SGS stands for a lot of things. And if you just type that in Google, you're not going to find the website as easy. Uh, I'd recommend finding them on Instagram first or following the link in the description uh, to get to their website. Um, so I've set it to English already. Um, let's start with this Diamond Abo. This is a one-time deal uh, for the first thousand people that sign up. Um, if you do plan on grading a lot with SGS, uh, I'd recommend this Diamond Abo. It's uh, 250 Swiss francs up front, so you pay 250 Swiss francs. Uh, but it's a lifelong diamond membership. Uh, as long as the company exists, you will get a discount on your card grading. Um, let me first start off by saying, uh, if you don't live in Switzerland, I don't see you using this grading website, um, mainly just because of the pricing. Uh, a normal price per slab with grading without, uh, what do you say, a... Uh, a whole description of why it got the grade it got. So let's just say you just want the cards encapsulated with a grade. Um, it's going to cost you 30 Swiss francs per card, which for a newer company uh, is quite steep, especially if you don't live in Switzerland. Uh, I don't see this being the next PSA, uh, mainly because the prices and just the locality of it here in Switzerland. Um, with the Diamond Abo, you will be paying only 22 Swiss francs per card, um, which is a little bit better. So you can actually compare it to like PSA and such. So you are saving a little bit of money. So if you are planning and you have a lot of old, let's say vintage cards and you want to get it graded with this Diamond Abo, uh, go ahead. Um, so next is the submission form. Uh, you can just click on it and very easy, submit your cards. Uh, uh, you just put in what set it is, what it is. Uh, it's quite straightforward. And then you send it per email. You, you just hit send and it'll get to your email uh, where you then will print it out and ship it, ship your cards to SGS from there. It's kind of a strange way. Uh, I don't know if they get it, if they're going to send you an email once they get your cards. It's kind of, you know, you just print out the form, you send your cards. I guess straightforward. Um, so yeah, prices already went over. It's uh, 30 Swiss francs to get your cards graded. You can also get with encapsulation that's a little bit cheaper. Um, you can check out that yourself. Uh, I'm gonna do just the grading, of course. Uh, the discounts, that's the, the diamond abo that I was talking about, uh, or bulk cards, if you sent bulk. Uh, so yeah, 100 cards at 22. Uh, that price is comparable to PSA if you want to compare companies. Um, but if you are in Europe, uh, you do have alternatives such as PCA, which grades the cards for, you know, base grading price is nine euros. Uh, so if you factor that in, I mean, you can, if you're paying just the, the 30 francs, you can get almost three cards graded for the price of one card here. Um, which can or cannot be worth it. It can be very well worth it if it's a very high-end card and the price of these cards are, you know, quite high. Um, I just foresee that on eBay or, you know, worldwide auction websites, people aren't going to, you know, first of all, I, I know from experience because I grew up in the U.S., Americans, not every American knows where Switzerland is. A lot of people think Switzerland is somewhere in the Middle East. Uh, they get it mixed up with Swaziland. I've had this multiple times uh, just because it says made in Switzerland on the, the slab or Swiss made 
it doesn't necessarily mean that Americans are going to understand what that means in terms of quality. Um, so I don't see the, the pricier slabs being worth more than a PSA. Um, in terms of the grading curve, I'll get to that. It depends on how, how easy it is to get a 10. Uh, but according to their specifications, it's not going to be very easy to get a 10. Uh, but I'll talk about that later. So shipping, that's pretty simple. Uh, Switzerland, I mean the shipping price. I'll just click on it for you guys. Uh, okay, so I'll send your cards. So yeah, they can they can ensure the package. Uh, generally, if you live in Switzerland, the post is very, very uh, reliable. Um, I guess if, if you're going to do to EU countries, you might want to do one of these higher end ones. If you're grading, you know, first edition Charizards. Um, but for everything else, uh, I'd Switzerland just ship it with B post. It's all tracked and everything. And I've out of sending thousands and thousands of packages in Switzerland, I've only lost one or two. And who knows if they're actually lost? According to the customer, they didn't arrive. So let's get into the juicy stuff: the grading scale. Uh, you can see diamond. You can read it. The diamond absolute perfect, as in new condition. Um, Centering shows absolutely no deviation. So perfect centering, absolute perfect centering. This is how we calculate for a 10. The value up to 9.75 is only rounded up if the surface and the centering are 10 point. A value of 9.875 is always rounded up to a 10, even if the surface and centering is a 9.5. This calculation is only crucial for a 10. So you're looking at a very nice 10. I don't think this is exactly a black label because I think black label, they don't even round up. Uh, if you're comparing it to Beckett. Um, but I want to say it's at least uh, comparable to a PCA 10. A PCA 10 shows about the same uh, same quality for a card. And a PCA 10 is quite rare. You know, you either, you either know a little bit about grading cards yourself and only send in the best ones, or you just send in bulk and, you know, let's say one out of every 50 plus minus pack fresh cards is a 10 so yeah uh, 9.5 one thing that's kind of strange is centering is perfect uh, centering perfect centering for PCA and and most other graded companies in Europe it doesn't need to be perfectly centered for a 9.5 gem mint uh, I mean a 9.5 is you know kind of a near mint uh, so saying a 9.5 is a gem mint I, I don't know I don't really agree with this I mean for if you're going to compare it to PSA, I want to say this right here would make it a 10. Because th this is a PSA 10 right here. Um, so I think the the ballpark of what most cards pack fresh are going to get from the newer sets, uh, unless you're extremely lucky with the cuts, is a 8.5 to 9. Um, I sent off four cards. Uh, some of them, the centering looks very good. I want to say that most of them should get at least a 9, hopefully one or two a 9.5. If I'm very lucky at 10. I do have a candidate or two. I have one Japanese card. And Japanese cards are generally well centered. Uh, I do have that one. That could be a 10. And I also have a Charizard. That actually looks very, very good. At least from the front. So we will see. So yeah, the services. Just grade encapsulation or just encapsulation. Uh, I did see custom on there. I don't know if you can make a custom uh, label. I know services like PCA don't do custom labels and PSA don't do custom labels, but some grading services will do, you know, let's say it's a birthday present or, you know, for a loved one, a card that reminds you of somebody. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, if they would, you know, put, you know, maybe parentheses, you know, like, you know, Charizard, best dad, shining fates, whatever. Um, so if that is the thing, if that is what they mean by a custom, that would be cool, but I'm not sure. You guys can check that out yourselves. Um, search for your card. The cards, of course, are all numbered. QR code, you can find your card. Um, pictures, they don't have any pictures yet, but they just started out. Uh, this is one thing cool. I'll, I'll, I'll end it here with this fakes. Uh, this was, I mean, I, I find it really cool. Of course, I'm not going to send fake cards. I don't own any fake cards. If I, if I ever get fake cards from one way or another, uh, I dispose of them in the garbage where they belong. Um, <laughs> they are very very strict on fakes uh, which is very important if you're if you're in Switzerland I have a lot of people that that 
you know, they, they buy these cards, you know, from auction sites and, and even on the local Ricardo, the local auction site here, uh, there are ads for wish cards. So you can get a wish shining Charizard for, you know, two, two dollars or whatnot. And they buy these cards and they think, wow, I got a really good deal. And they, they don't really realize that they're counterfeit. I know a lot of people post up counterfeit cards unintentionally. Um, so the, the, the Swiss grading they, their stance is if you send in counterfeit cards intentionally or unintentionally uh, very big for for parents out there check your children's cards if you want to get your first card submitted that's great but please check them and if you're not sure if they're 100 percent legit make sure you you get somebody to evaluate them i know some some websites like card collectors for example in switzerland you pay a little bit but they'll evaluate your cards uh, you could send me a picture on instagram if you'd like i will evaluate your cards um, most of the time it's black and white, even from Instagram photo, if they're uh, fake or not. Um, <laughs> if they detect that the cards are fake, they will stop the grading and set off the full amount. I will they'll set off the full amount <laughs> and then they will decide what to do with your cards. Uh, and they, they have a, they might additionally also block you from grading for a full year, which means that even if you're a parent and your kid wants to get his cards graded and you don't know that it's a fake, but you accidentally send a fake card, uh, they will ban you for a whole year. It, that's crazy. So please send only cards that are 100% sure that are not counterfeit. I, I don't know what PSA does. I actually never, I never really thought about that, but I'm sure, you know, in Switzerland, uh, some, uh, there's going to be a lot of people starting off with this website because it's local and it's you know i'm sure they're going to advertise here in switzerland and yeah a lot of parents I, I get it all the time parents are like oh my kid has a bunch of pokemon cards uh, he he wants to sell them uh, i heard they're worth quite a bit and he shows me a big old pile of fake charizards and it's like oh man i'm sorry i can't you know those are fake i don't know what to tell you and then you know 50 percent of the time the people will be like yeah that's that's great thanks for telling me i'm so sorry oh man i see what you mean and the other 50% they get defensive. They say, hey, these cards are not fake. How, can you, how dare you say my cards are fake? These are cards you just you just want to scam me. And it's like, man, I, I don't want to scam you. Your cards, I'm, I'm sorry to say, are 100% fake. Um, so yeah, be careful sending your cards to SGS. They, they have absolutely zero tolerance for fakes, um, which definitely would, would be my stance on fakes i don't know if i'd ban you for a year it depends on you know i definitely contact you and, and see what the situation is um, but don't expect to get your fake cards back uh, swiss grading services will definitely throw them in the garbage for you uh, so yeah hope that helps if i left out anything be sure to let me know in the comments i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this um, my final thoughts for this is it's cool to have a local Swiss company. It's nice not to pay custom fees, um, but for the price of this grading, it is definitely high-end cards only. Um, if you are grading just normal V cards or GX cards or VMAX or anything, you know, let's say the base value of the card is around 10 to $20, uh, I would not recommend the service uh, just because, it, unless you're doing it for yourself. If you're gonna grade your cards for your own collection, you just want something local, then great, do it get your cards encapsulated if you're worried about shipping your cards uh, overseas do it this is this is definitely the most secure grading service right now if you live in switzerland uh, definitely get your cards graded with sgs um, but if you are looking to make some profit off your cards if you are a collector and a seller and you want to sell your graded cards um, time will tell but my opinion it's not worth it if your cards are valued, you know, 100 to 200 dollars, okay, that might be worth it. You know, then 30 30 dollars is not that bad, or 30 francs is not that bad to get your cards graded. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Have you guys gotten your cards graded with SGS? I will leave a link to their website in the description below, and I will also leave a link to their Instagram. Uh, check them out on Instagram. They definitely they're they're service is perfect they message you quite fast they are very secretive about their whole operation um grading cards uh, it is kind of a secret how some people do it you know where they get their labels what they do you know of course they have to you know protect that um, but generally the secret's kind of out how the slabs get made what kind of a machine makes these slabs it, it's not a huge deal anymore um, it, it's just a question of how will your company 
you know, get this out to the rest of the world that your, your grades are, you know, quality and what they're worth to the buyer. You know, that's what Pokemon is. It's how much worth your cards are to the buyer that's buying your cards. And if your buyers definitely want Swiss products, then this is the service for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will leave it at that. It is getting too long. Um, thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you like this video and stay tuned for some more videos. I look forward to doing ace grading once I can actually do their uh, website once they are open again to the public. But as far as I know, they are completely swamped and nothing is happening. Um, so great. Get your card submitted with SGS. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And I look forward to seeing some pictures of your SGS submissions. So see you guys next time. Take care. Later.